These World Juniors are expected to generate an economic impact of over $80 million on the cities of Calgary and Edmonton. That bodes well for the cities hosting these championships. The World Women's Championship is coming to Ottawa 2013, then 16 and 20, sites still to be determined. And the World Juniors goes to Europe for a couple of years, then is back in Canada 2015, 2017, 2019, 2021. Joined now by the president of the International Ice Hockey Federation, Mr. Rene Fassell. Ultimately, the NHL and the NHLPA will decide if their players go to the Olympics, Sochi in 2014. Are you confident they'll be at the Games from what you know right now? Yes, I am. But uh, as I said always, you know, our door is wide open. And at the end, the PA and the NHL have to decide if they come or not. What would you say to Gary Bettman about uh, this? Gary doesn't like when I, said, uh, when I say I'm confident. But uh, I think they will be there because they're just for hockey, and uh, I hope they will be there. The IIHF has adopted a real hard line on headshots. Do you feel like the message has gotten through to the players? Yeah, I think so. I think in the last championship in Buffalo, we had five suspension, on, and, and this uh, under-20 junior championship, we had five suspension for headshots, and here we had only one game suspension for a headshot. And you're starting a committee within the IIHF to look, what, specifically at concussions? Yeah, that's correct. We, we, we built a... We decided to build a, um, a working group with Murray Costello, the Canadian vice president, uh, our vice president in the IHF, to build up a working group and, and to study and to ask some questions, you know, about the speed of the game, about the rules, the red line of sight, respect, and all the, 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 the questions we need to, 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 to ask. How do you reconcile the, the success this tournament has every time it's in Canada or on the border of Canada? with the need to grow the game internationally and still to have it in European countries? Uh, it's just a respect also for some other federation that would like to organize this event. Uh, I, I'm confident that in Russia it will work. Uh, Russia is a, is a great hockey country. Hufa is a great place to go. They were a KHL champion last year. We will have a base of hockey fans there. For sure it, not, it will not be like we have here in, in, in Alberta. But in two years in Sweden, uh, I can expect that we also have a lot of fans there. But financially, it makes a mint every time it's here, and then you struggle a little bit over there, correct? Yeah, for sure. Uh, but, you know, we, we uh, Sweden and Finland will organize the next World Championship, Senior World Championship. They will have the opportunity to make incomes there. And, and it's far away what they do here in Canada, that's for how, sure. How do you describe the response of Alberta to this tournament over it's, the last two amazing. weeks? It's amazing. It's amazing. I, I would say really thank you, hockey fans. Uh, here in Alberta, in Edmonton and Calgary, and all over Canada, I think. I know that your numbers also, TSN, are very high, and thank you. Thank you very much. Be a little bit higher if Canada made the gold medal game, but I know you have no control yeah, over that. Yeah, what can we do?